this wasn't a good idea. It kind of burns. Holy rosacea. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's gross. Okay, so in all seriousness, that light is bad. I'm gonna take off what is left of my eye makeup. I use um, the Almay Oil Free. I used those for a long time. I really like them. I feel like they are gentle and they don't burn my eyes. My eyes are super sensitive to everything. So, not a lot, but a little bit. And I am going to cleanse my face. I have used the Clinique, um, the Foaming Sonic Soap. I had a, a Sonic cleanser and it finally calmed down on me and I've not yet replaced it, but it works great alone or with that. So. My scrubby. And I don't remember where I got this, um, but it's the Your Facial Daily Concepts Scrubber. So I wet it. Get some soup. At 35, I still do have problems with acne, at least monthly, like hormonal breakouts. So, and the older I get, the more I realize that um, I really don't take care of my skin like I should. Starting to get some lines around my eyes, so I have tried to be more conscious of my skincare lately. Just hope I didn't wait too late. I have to take a brief intermission to put my hair up. Another thing that I will say is I have super, super sensitive skin. Um, doesn't take much to make me like, look really irritated, especially my cheeks and my forehead, my nose, pretty much everywhere. So I do make sure that I only use like super gentle products. But in the last maybe I'd say three or four years, my skin, it's like, it's changed. So where I used to have super oily skin, I now have super, super dry skin. And um, almost to the point of like flaky, especially across my forehead. Sometimes um, my cheeks, but more my nose, my forehead, so like my T-zone. See, I really wasn't, <laughs> was not aggressive and I am super pink. Doesn't take much. While my face is clean, I am going to dry off my lips and something that I'm sure I got in a birch box or a, um, a ipsy bag or something like that is 
this Hanalee lip treatment. And when this one started getting empty, I started looking through all of my stuff and found that I actually had another one. And this one is in the mauve pink. I didn't notice that it added a lot of color, but I really like it. And it is um, something that I just put on an order for Amazon because I didn't want to run out. And I just, like, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to put that on. It does make your lips feel super, super soft. made in Honolulu. I'll link it below though because it would, it does feel so nice and especially going into like I don't want to say winter because it's not winter yet but the drier months um, my lips get really cracked peel and um, something soft always feels so much better. Okay, so I do use this. This is probably my third bottle. Um, I have seen it at Walmart and Five Below, which was weird. But um, I do this twice a week. It is Freeman's Polishing Charcoal Black Sugar Scrub. It is actually a mask too. And I have used it to exfoliate even in the shower when I didn't have time for it to dry. But tonight I am going to put it on and let it dry. And then I'll come back. It's been five, seven minutes. Um, I was watching the video. I'm going to turn on the warm water. It's probably going to be loud. I'm sorry. Okay, so I know everyone's going to think this is really weird, but I thought I had one more. I buy the bikini race, um, razors, kind of small. I'll link them below, um, the kind that I've been buying. I guess I used my last one in my sewing kit. Sounds weird, I know, but they work really good when you can't find your seam ripper to like cut seams <laughs> and do stuff. So, um... I'll have to order more of those but um, as a backup you can use one of these little battery operated deals you can find them anywhere Walmart um, CVS Target I'm sure I will try to find this one that I have is um, I think it's called Clio but um, I will try to find it on Amazon and link it this one is probably like used to have an attachment thing used to have a cap it's probably six years old, maybe. I have used it on these little fuzzies. I don't have a dark mustache, but makeup sticks to it. It does make it look a lot darker. Um, I have a lot of little fine blonde peach fuzz here and here. Uh, well, not, not here, but here along... Um, like the edge of my face next to my ear and um, I did find that my makeup goes on so much smoother and doesn't look so cakey once I started shaving my face. This is a quick solution. I definitely recommend actually doing it with a razor. If you have um, acne prone skin, 
I think you should go with the grain. If you don't have acne prone skin, go away. You're going to get a closer cut. Um, but just going to touch up my stash and um, check on these little guys over here. I do it about once every two weeks. It's not like an everyday thing, obviously, because I would have more razors. Um, but I am going to touch up my eyebrows. I desperately need to get them threaded and I haven't been able to do that because I have such sensitive skin I have not found a wax that I can use without getting a chemical burn so I do get them threaded um I don't think the pain is any worse some people say oh the pain's so bad I think it's just because with waxing you usually get it in like two stripes and all the pain happens at once but I don't think it's any worse to get it threaded and I, I think they look nicer and they last longer for me anyways so I do need to make an appointment to do that but for now, I'm going to touch them up with my tweezers and um, take care of my mustache. Something I didn't mention is this is also a really great um, way to exfoliate. That's why when guys shave, like their skin is so smooth after because it exfoliates. I have these tiny, tiny little fuzzies right here. When red lipstick gets stuck to that, it looks weird. Get it. Pro tip, make sure your hair is out of the way. Like two months ago, I totally lost that whole sideburn. It's a little ball of fuzz. I don't do a whole lot to my eyebrows because I do think that people were intended to have eyebrows. And people that don't, you know, there's not a lot of people that can make that look good. So, I don't do a lot. And when I go get them done, basically what she does, because my eyebrows don't have a terrible shape, pretty good shape, um, but typically what she does is she just cleans up these little crazies down here and takes care of them. I do this though. I normally have a spoolie. I left it on my makeup table. So I just comb those up. And give them a little haircut. Make sure you turn that off before you decide to use it as a comb, by the way. That would be scary. Ooh. 
think I said left some of that mask in my eyebrow because that little thing got stuck. It hurt. Um, okay, I'm off. Let's try that again. I still feel like there's something there. What is going on? Oh, I see nothing. This is much better with the spoolie. So that puts them on um, I tried to set up my tripod again that I knocked over and see if I can't show you um, my last three favorites. All right, let's try that again. So, um, a lot of my products did come from like subscription bags, which I have recently canceled. I'm very proud of myself because I had a bit of a problem subscribing to Birchbox, Ipsy, FabFitFun, which is a really great box, um, but I decided to get my finances under control before I treat myself with things like that. So this is the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream, which I will also try to link below, and I'm just going to put that under my eye and around here because I am especially early in the morning when I first wake up is like when my eyes look the worst so I need some eye cream I'm not gonna get too up in there but and <laughs> these harsh bulbs around my vanity mirror they don't do anything for you. It's terrible. So it does look like I've left that like super thick. It's actually just wet and reflecting light. I've heard people put um, cucumbers on their eyes. It just really makes me want to eat a salad. I can eat a snack. Oh, those lights make my teeth look green. Why? My teeth aren't green, by the way. This is very unflattering <laughs> bathroom lighting. Ooh. Okay. So. This is something that I honestly probably never would have bought and it's probably because I suffered from severely oily skin for so many years. My teenagers were bad. Um, but when I got it in an Ipsy bag, I, uh, it's tiny. It'll like last me, you know, once and then it'll be done. So I might as well try it. Um, I've actually had this for like three weeks. And I've been using it three times a week. So there's more in this than you would think. But I um, I actually ordered it. I put it in an Amazon order. And um, I put in an order for it. So I will be happy when my full size gets here. But again, it's probably something that I would not have tried otherwise. Which is obviously the whole reason for those subscription bags are to give you something great in the tiny package and make you buy it. But I use less than one dropper. Like, the dropper is tiny. Teeny. I use less than that. And covers my whole face. I'm not going to say that it is the most um, It's not the most pleasant smell, but it's not terrible. It's not like a stinky smell. Um, 
more of a natural, I guess, smell. So not something that's like overly perfumed, which obviously you don't want to put on your face anyways. But here, right along my hairline is where I have a lot of um, dry skin trouble. I always rub whatever else is on my hands because it can never hurt. In the winter months when it really gets cold, my hands crack in between my fingers to the point of they have bled in the past. It's not as bad now that I live in the South as it was um, like when I lived in Indiana and Ohio. I guess just because it's colder there. But last thing I do is um, this is like a water-based, like Dead Sea Minerals. It's the best hand lotion ever. And it smells, it's a, it's a very familiar smell. It reminds me of Avon silicone glove. Not exactly, but kind of like that. But anyways, I, uh, I put this on probably at least twice a day. Um, I feel like when I'm working and dealing with like going through papers, those papers, um, as you shuffle through them, actually absorb the oil out of your skin. So anytime you're like filing or um, sorting papers, anything like that, doing a lot, um, touching things, I've got hiccups and I've been battling them all day. Um, Anyways, you want to make sure you're moisturizing your hands because it does, uh, paper especially, anything dry is going to um, take all the moisture out of your skin. And I did put this on my feet the other night and then I put some socks on, but I can't sleep in socks, so I don't know where the socks went. I found one. It wasn't on my foot, but it was in the bed. Um, but it feels so good. So this is something else I will link below because it is something that I definitely, and I've, I've had this for several months and I feel like it's still got a, well, some of that's air, but it's still got a pretty good amount in it. So it has lasted me a long time. You don't need a ton, but my hands feel amazing. So I am going to go to bed. I left this um, clip in there because I, I had some of that sugar scrub in the skin. creases of my ears. Um, thanks for watching. If you stuck around, I appreciate all the support. It's not severe, not to the point of like needing a, you know, a medicine or a medicated ointment or anything like that. But do you guys see that hair glowing? Am I crazy? It's not even gray. I don't know why the light is shining on it like that. Um, but anyways, got my lotion on. I'm going to put some lotion on my feet to put on some socks and get some rest. And, um, I'm not going to do a ton of videos like this, obviously. I'm not a guru by any means, but I always like watching these videos, watching, like, what works for other people. So, hopefully I have introduced someone to something new.